Well, here I am again, trying to re-record this without sounding stupid, even though I already failed. <sighs> so yeah, if there's, there's really no secret, I've already shared this in community posts. I was really pissed off about it, but I have to call myself if I want to record this properly. So yeah, my channel is either already dead or dying because... I've known this for a while, but I've hit a decline. Yep. So, you let's just get into like why I think this is happening. Because to be honest, I think because again, I know that I screwed up, and again, I feel like I know why. And part of it is because of my reckless behavior. Because obviously, I've said this already in the community post. I and I did say I was going to touch upon this again here, but. Yep, I've said some incredibly stupid things and questionable things. And the way I phrased certain things, because I made it sound like I was attacking someone, even though that's literally was not supposed to be the idea. But I did it by accident, which I could have phrased better. I Trust me, I really wish I phrased these things better. To be honest, if it sounded like attack, I generally do apologize about that. I generally really do. Because, like, if it were up to me, if it time traveling did exist, I'd go back in time and... And at, not just slap myself, I just punch myself in the face for phrasing it like that. I really would. But, yeah. So, I touched upon the reckless behavior part, but I think there's a bit more to that. To why I've hit a decline. Because, here's the thing. When I'll, I'm a majority of new viewers know that I created th this channel in Partictacular back in 2017. But, however, though, you may notice how... I started uploading in 2020. Here's the thing. Anybody that's been watching me since 2017 up to now would know that it, what, I, what I'm doing now wasn't always like what I was doing back then. I may have brought some things back that I did back then, but let's get to the part you want to hear about. Where you, where you see these screenshots. Like, what's all of this about? Well, let me tell you about how this channel started in the first place. So, basically, I, I did a thing called channel hopping, which is, where I move, which is where I create a new channel, move on to the next one, and next one, and so on and so forth. And I did this for a good reason, because I had two previous YouTube channels before this one, and the reason why I did the channel hopping is because people from my school were watching my channel, and I was trying to get away from them, because I thought, like, creating a new YouTube channel would help and get away from them but somehow they found this one i have no idea how they found this one because i did not tell them i did not promote i did not promote it to them somehow they found it i don't know how they did but here's what happened but here's the part where they fully knew that it was me because here's because let me just say this channel started off with me trying to make music videos i guess Based on what I could, with based on what I can't remember, I made some music videos on here, but people didn't care for them. That's when I thought, like, what was popular at the time in 2017 that could get some people interested, and then that's when it hit me. That's literally when it really hit me, which is when I made the compilation video of parents destroying kids' electronics because that was huge back in 2017. Anybody that was watching YouTube back then would probably remember that, that that was all huge. You would see compilations, uploads, top tens of it. And I'm like, oh, if I try that, that could help me. As I might get some viewers. So I did. I uploaded that one compilation video. And guess what? That, that's what caused me to hit 1,000 subscribers in the first place. And people were begging for a second part. And... I did do a second part, and then a third part, and then that's when things started going downhill. Well, before the third part, I did do a face reveal, and yeah, that's when I know for a fact I got fully caught by my classmates, that they knew that they knew that, that channel was being run by me. But yeah, when I did the third part, that's when things were really starting to go downhill, because guess what? That's when... The first two parts were getting taken down. The first part, I wasn't even aware about this, that it was taken down. Because someone in the comments told me that it was taken down. And I'm like, what? So I browsed through my emails. And that's when I found out. That's when I found 
from YouTube, the video was taken down for violating terms of services for sexual content. And I, I'm like, what sexual content? Like I scrolled through the entire video. I'm like, what sexual content? Cause I didn't see anything. Cause I, I didn't, I'm not, this isn't a porn channel. This isn't an NSFW channel. What the fuck are you guys talking about? I mean, the only other thing I can think of is cause there, the only other theory I have is like why that may could have happened. Cause there was this one video I upload. There's this one clip that I included where this, where this kid had this very sexual poster hanging on his wall. So I'm, that's, I'm thinking what happened. And I'm like, that's not really porn though. That's not really porn. How is that porn? But it got taken down. And then the second part was because somebody requested it to be taken down. I was not made aware of it because I didn't check my emails. And yeah, I mean, here I am years later to that guy. And if you're watching me, I'm just going to say now, I really did not know how it worked when it came to takedowns. Because if I knew sooner, I would have taken it down myself. But then again, I just didn't know what to do. I didn't, I didn't read my emails. That's basically it. Because I'm going to let you all know now. Whenever I read my emails, I get super paranoid. Because I'm like scrolling through my emails. And I'm making sure like no copyright strikes. No worldwide blockages. Which I really get annoyed by. I actually really do get annoyed by worldwide blockages. Because it's happened to me multiple times than you think. It really has. And uh, what, what else? Um... Oh yeah, copper. That's a big iffy. Copper, 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 copper. Fuck copper. Because, trust me, I get super paranoid when I see, when I literally go ahead and click to check my videos, and I see coppers there. I'm like, and they just like mark my video for kids by themselves. And I should mention to you now that if you're still marking videos not for kids, like if your channel's not, it's still not set to not for kids and you're still marketing your channel for kids, well, be careful about that because I learned this the hard way this summer, but one of my videos I posted on there got marked for kids forcefully, meaning I can't change it back and I can't even age restrict the video if I want to because it's fully set for kids and trust me, that got me super pissed off because I, because I wrote, I remember writing fuck YouTube somewhere, but yeah. Anyways, we're going to touch upon this again, but let's move on to like a part because you need to hear about like what happened after the parents destroying kids compilations because because after parts one and two got taken down, I didn't want to have an issue, a situation with the third one. So I took it down myself. And then that's when it's time to like, you know, change style, change the style of content because that's part of the reason of the decline. But we're not going to touch upon that part yet because this is we're still in 2018 through 19. Because that's when I did the did my reaction videos and gaming videos the most, along with some skits in between. And for the most part, it did well. However, though, I do remember receiving a lot of backlash for some things I've done. And I mean, a hell of a lot of backlash. And I think you kind of know where this is going because you can you can you already see it on my shelf. But that's when. I was, this was in 2018 when I was slowly telling everybody that I was a brony and then I was like, you want to see more of this of MLP content or FNAF content? Everyone was picking FNAF and yeah, that's when the backlash really came in. Yeah, that's when it like really flooded in. And there's a reason why I said this because I kind of wanted people to pick more MLP content over FNAF content because in 2019 and... I've said this before multiple times during the years, but guess what? In 2019, I was depressed. I was watching a lot of MLP then. Because I was going through a lot of depression, and I really wanted my depression... I was trying to contain my depression. But yeah, that's kind of the reason of the decline, because... I did try bringing back a compilation... Because here's the thing. Part of... Because I think there was a small decline in 2019 or something, I don't know. Because let me tell you now, based on... Because anybody that's been watching for this long would probably remember. But in 2019, I believe it was 2019. That was the year I hit 12,000 subscribers. And you may be wondering, how? How did I hit 12,000? That's i kind of wondering how. Yeah, because I actually I'm not wondering because I know how. Because as you can see now with my subscriber count, I'm at 9,000 subscribers. And guess what? The count is still dropping. And I can't really do anything about it. 
But if you're wondering how did I get the 12,000, because I did I did do another compilation video. However, though, it was not of parents destroying kids compilations. If you know the YouTube channel Bolina Productions and their Sonic Zombies series, I did a compilation of Sonic Zombies, but only Eggman, because I thought his voice was super funny, and to this day I still think it is funny. But yeah, I did that compilation video, and that get that got me a lot of views. I don't really remember how many views, but I could definitely tell you it was over 10,000 views. Because that was my most popular video at the time back in 2019. And there was obviously, I mean, this is a part of another reason. Because there was giant gaps in between that year. Because going through depression and trying to finish 8th grade that year. Oh yeah, if you don't remember, guess what? I was, I was held back a year of school. So yeah, that's because I know that I should have been finished with school sooner. But yeah, just quick reminder though, just letting everyone know. But yeah. So yeah, that happened. Then summer of 2019 hit, and I thought like since I'm done with middle school, I can try bring I can try slowly making videos again the way I want to, but didn't really help because some people from middle school were still watching me. I'm like, why are you still watching me? Show you how bad it was. That how bad this really affected me is because some people were watching my channel during class. I'm not kidding. Because, yes, and how do I know this? Because my classmates told me. They told me they were watching my channel during class. I'm like, are you trying to get me caught here? Are you trying to get me discovered again? Because guess what? Back in 2017, you want to know another reason why I channel hopped to making this one? It's because my school discovered my YouTube channel, which was, which made me super pissed off at the time. Trust me, I was super pissed off. But, yeah, I mean, that, that time has passed now. That channel has been deleted. And... And ever since I created this new channel, none of my schools found out about it. At least that's what I think. I don't know. Don't fully quote me on that. Some they might. Some schools might already know. And yeah, they know how much how much I don't really care about them. So yeah. But yeah, I'm getting off topic. So yeah, that's so yeah. 2019 is kind of when the bad stuff happened. Because even though I was kind of. I guess I was alright with the content I was making because I try bringing plush videos back, which I don't really do anymore because plush videos to me, they're not fun anymore. A certain user ruined them, but I'm not going to say who. But yeah. So I tried that, and then that's when the bad news of 2019 hit. And everyone remembers this very well because this was five years ago when this happened. Almost five years ago when this happened. Which is when we're touching it back on Kappa. Yep, Kappa. The, the thing that ruined this... Well, this is part of what ruined this fucking platform in the first place. Marking your videos for kids or not for kids. Which is what really pissed me off. And I still remember very well... I remember this very well. Saying that if you mark your videos not for kids, but it looks like something being made for kids, you're gonna get sued up the ass. I remember that pissed me off big time to the point where... You know what, fuck this. I'm not staying on this platform. I'm not getting fined for a video. Yeah, cause that, cause that explains why, cause now you're about to hear like, why was there a giant gap? Why did all my videos disappeared after 2020, after 2019? Now you know why, because of Kappa. And I touched upon this on a live stream I did when I returned, but that live stream's been privated because I don't like how it was, because I generally was really rambling on, on that live stream. But you're hearing it again in video form. That's part of my gap. Not only because I was. Look, here's the here are the reasons. One, hiding from all my classmates because they still knew about my channel, but they forgot about it ever since. I'm I'm glad that I did that because now, none of them know about it. None of them know about this channel, and I wanted to stay like that. And now the other reason, well, this is, this is the giant reason which you just heard me about. It's because of Kappa, which almost caused me to fully stop doing YouTube in the first place. However, though. With the, few months after well then again this was on another channel that i have which i am not really going to share right now but like uh, but what i will say is that i didn't fully disappear because that was using because there was another channel i had around that time that it created in 2018 well first off i created early 2018 then i got locked out of it and i made a new one in late 2018 which is still up and running now but we're not talking about i'm not going to go into full detail about this channel because i'm not really fully ready to, i'm not fully re ready to share about it but i guess that could that over there kind of gives you a hint and if 
Sonic was actually in frame, that would give you another hint, but... And my channel banner should give you a giant hint, but... Let's get, let's get into... But, but yeah, those are the only hints I will say. But yeah, basically all you need to know is that I didn't fully go away because I, there was another channel I was using early 2020 that I almost gave up on, but decided to just kick it, just go get it up and running again, and that channel is actually kind of is actually pretty successful for the most part. The only issue is is that on that channel I lied about my identity because I did I was scared of my classmates discovering that channel because here's the here's where the music video parts come back because remember how I said earlier that this was start off partially as a music video channel well the music video part of me is not really dead because i do it on another channel but again not touching upon it and this is getting really repetitive right now but yeah so yeah i was just uploading there and there and there and then 2020 i decided then late 2020 i decided to just you know come back and i tried bringing back my old style of videos but then here's where the decline really really hits and it starts mostly in 2021 because there is a giant gap in between videos. And I mean a real giant gap. Which caused my first thousand subscribers to be gone. Because from there I ended up having 11,000 subscribers in 2021. And then unfortunately a year later in 2022, 10,000. I only had, I lost 12,000, I lost 2,000 subscribers to 10,000, and guess what? The year later, 2023, another subscriber perch happened, and guess what? Here we are now, 9,000 subscribers. And my only prediction now is that we're definitely going to reach 8,000, is that I'm going to, this, this, my subscriber perch is still going to keep going. Because I know for a fact, probably by the end of this year, or beginning of next year, or some point next year, we're going to be at 8,000. My subscriber count is really dropping because then the, the decline hits here. It's because of me changing my style of video, which is what's causing the decline. But here's the thing I'm kind of... Here's the thing that I've noticed. When I upload clips of the channel, people like them. When I do clips like decade anniversaries of movies or video games, that's when people like them. However, though, um... When... When I do like videos like this, where it's like a discussion video, or I'm doing movie reviews, people don't care. People just generally really don't care. Same thing with the gaming video, because if people were doing like, why did I stop doing gaming videos? It's because people don't care for them. Like, I'm not going to go through out of my way to make these videos if people are not going to watch them. So I'm like, you know what, fuck this, I'm not going to do it anymore. Because then, here's another style I tried doing, which was rescores of movies. I've done it twice on here. Which is, because the first time I did a rescore of the Joker doing, of the Joker dancing to um, Waltz to the Dance from Joker. And then, last year, I did another rescore of, of Eggman dancing to Get Back by Ludacris, you know, the dance scene from the Sonic movie. And then yesterday, I was going to upload another rescore of the Sonic movie, which was the chase scene, but knowing how the channel has hit a decline, I didn't upload it. Well, I did, though, but on the other channel, but, again, people on here are just generally not really going to care. Yeah, people just generally really won't care. Because, if you think about it, if you remember the scene in Spider-Man, the Green Goblin, where he makes that proposal to Spider-Man, and he says, in spite of everything what you've done for them, eventually they will hate you. Honestly, that's where it, this is what it really feels like now. In spite of everything that I've done for everybody on here, people just don't care for me anymore. I mean, I'm, I'm not. I can't say that for everybody though, because I do know that some people generally do still, still watch my videos. I am aware of that. I know that's not fully true about people not caring, but I'm just like wondering, like, if people don't care for my content anymore, then like I'm mostly talking about people that watch me from the start. If people just generally really don't care then why are you still subscribed? Because, listen to me, you're gonna hear this from me now, like, if you generally really do not care about my videos, then you're not obligated to stay. 
that's what I am going to tell you right now. You don't have to stay subscribed. And you don't have to still have me on social media just to have me. You don't need to keep following me on like Instagram or Twitter. Like if you really do not care about my content, you really do not care about what I do on my videos, then you're not obligated to stay. Like just tap on subscribe or on follow and we're all situated because you really don't need to stay here. But anyone else that does want to stay, then I hope I'm giving you some sort of entertainment. I hope I am. But yeah, hopefully I tackled on most of my decline, I guess, because I've been losing some passion in videos, which is which is why there was no video last week. Because I still have my community posts. Because I made a lot of community posts last week. Well, they're mostly birthday posts. And I noticed that I get more likes on my community posts and comments on my community posts than my actual videos. And if I'm to be completely honest with you, I enjoy making more community posts than actual videos. Because I still have a bunch of scheduled community posts for this year and next year and so on. I still have a bunch of them scheduled. I'm still going to let them go up. That's not changing. It'll stay there. And also because I, because it's because I don't want to go through taking down all of them. And there's stuff that I don't even want to take down. I want them to go up. But yeah. So I think I tackled for the most part of like what happened with my decline. I think I tackled it for the most part. So if there's anything I left out, you should probably let me know. And here's where the update part comes on. If you remember last year, I uploaded weekly. Like, every week I would upload a new video. But now, I think it's time for me to go back to my original schedule. Which is where I upload when I feel like it. Because, to be honest, if I lose passion videos, what's the... If I'm losing passion in videos, why would I keep uploading? Every so, every so often. Well, at least on here, because... If you remember when I told you about that other channel, which... Again, not fully ready to share yet. Because on the other channel that I have, I mean, I, I on the top of my head, at least one person on here knows about it. On the top of my head. But, but what I will say is that on that channel, I do upload every week. Which I've been doing, and to be honest, I'm still going to keep going. Because I, I still have passion for this channel. Like, let's be real. If this channel does die out, I'll... Like, whenever I feel ready... I mean, then again, this is before it fully dies out. I probably will promote that other channel. Because I've been using that channel for about six years now. And this one for seven. And to be honest, if you ask me, is it really time to quit? I mean, I do have enough reason to quit. But I'm not gonna. Uh, if you ask me, I don't think it's fully time for me to stop. Because I haven't even made the 10-year mark. I haven't even made it on this channel. So, why would I stop now? Because I don't see a point. So yeah, will I quit? The answer is, I'm done when I'm done. I I get I say when I'm done, I call when it's time, and right now, it's not time. At least not yet. So I'll just keep going for as long as I can. So again, upload when I feel like it, so... Yeah. So I think I perfectly explained the decline. And trust me, there's things I wish I phrased better. That really is things I wish I phrased better, but I think I fully got the decline part out of the way. So, yeah, I think I perfectly explained myself. So, if you sat through this entire video, I really do appreciate it. And I guess you can tell me, like, your thoughts down below because I'm open to hear it. Because, again, if you don't care for my content anymore, you're not obligated to stay. You can leave. You don't have to stay. Because it's not up to me on what you watch and you can't watch. That's what I will say. So, yeah. Again, I don't think there's anything else. I'm trying to think on the top of my head. Because if anything else, I think I've covered everything. For the most part. There's not going to really be a part two to this. Because I just want to keep... Because I just want to keep, you know, the channel in a positive status, I guess. Even if I keep losing subscribers... I still want to keep it in a positive status. So, yeah, I think I fully covered everything. So, yeah, I hope, I guess, somewhat enjoy this. I don't know how this is really enjoyable, but 
I don't, this is not really enjoyable. It's just me giving you information, like, how I hit a decline and stuff. But, yeah. So, I'll just keep uploading for as long as I can. I'll still keep doing my community posts. And, plus, also, even when I do retire, I'm still going to keep doing community posts. Because I'm going to still try to keep communicating with y'all. I guess, somehow. In a way, in a way, I don't know. But, yeah. I hope you were able to fully understand, like, what I went through. Like, the, the whole, my whole decline and everything. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Please comment and tell me if you understand what I went through. Like, give me feedback on anything else that's part of my decline that I didn't that I didn't cover upon. And yeah. So, I guess thanks for watching and hope to see you guys again. So yeah, bye.